Hello everyone, I want to welcome you back to my kitchen. So today we are going to be making Jamaican jerk chicken. Uh, this is another one of my favorite recipes uh, because it has a nice kick to it, which I tend to like somewhat spicy foods. So before we dive into today's recipe, I want to thank all my viewers for the support that you've given my channel. And for the new viewers, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So let's grab our aprons, let's get our ingredients together, and let's get cooking. For our jerk chicken, we're going to need the following. 10 bone-in chicken pieces. I'm using leg and thigh, green onion, garlic, habanero peppers, and if you can't find habanero, then I would recommend using scotch bonnet, which I could not find, so that therefore I am using the habaneros. Um, ginger, lime juice, soy sauce, brown sugar, fresh thyme, black pepper, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Right, so we've got our handy dandy food processor here. And so to this, we are gonna add in our green onions, our ginger, our habaneros or our scotch bonnets, whichever one you're able to use, our garlic. Then we're gonna add in our soy sauce. our lime juice, and there I go making a mess, and then we're going to add in our spices, which are brown sugar, fresh thyme, nutmeg, cinnamon, pepper, and allspice. And this is going to be the marinade that we are going to soak our, chick our chicken in. So I'm going to give this a good pulse. chicken for marinating. Alright, so we've got our chicken here and I'm using uh, legs and thighs. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up our legs, our thighs, uh, with any of the excess fat. And then what I like to do to make sure my marinade gets deep into the meat, I'll go through and cut little slices into my chicken. And then I will do the same thing with my legs. Just like that. All right, so I've got my chicken all cleaned up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to place this into a zip top bag. And then we are going to add our marinade. Our 
Yeah, I can already smell the spices from here. The habaneros got a little bit of a bite to it, and my eyes are just watering up just a bit. All right, so we're going to throw this into the fridge for a minimum of three hours up to 24. Okay, so I've had my chicken marinating in my jerk rub overnight. So now what we need to do is get this onto a foil covered baking pan. And so what we're going to do is we're going to spray some spray oil on the pan. And you want to shake off any extra marinade off of your chicken. Once we get this all in the tray, this is going to go into an oven and we're going to cook okay. cook till it gets to an internal of 165. Okay, so this has been going for 45 minutes in the oven at 375. And as you can see, everything is cooked and I've checked the temperature and it's well above 165. So we're gonna let this rest for 10 minutes and then we're gonna get some chicken plated up. Okay, so I've had the chicken resting for about 10 minutes and as you can see, it is perfectly done. So we're gonna give us a quick bite. Tender, juicy, you got the bite from the habaneros that you right here. And this is going to be a tasty dish, so I'm going to serve this up with a little bit of rice. So I wanted to thank everybody for watching. Also want to express my thanks to each and every one of you that helped to support my channel. And as always, remember, enjoy cooking in the kitchen. And until next time.